Note that when a user is deactivated, they will be removed from lookup list, but they will not be deleted. If you do delete a user, you will no longer be able to report on that user and you will have to create a new user ID. If a deactivated user or employee returns to the club, for example, seasonal staff, all you have to do is reactivate them instead of adding them back into Jonas. In this video, we will look at how to deactivate user IDs as well as timekeeper staff. First, let's start with user IDs. User IDs can be deactivated by moving the user ID to an inactive group. To create an inactive group, navigate to Administration, User Management, and Group Security. Select Add Another Group, and set the group ID and description, for example, as inactive. In the Users option, flag Deactivate This User, and click OK, and OK to save. After creating the new group, we can assign it to our inactive users. To do so, we want to navigate to Administration, User Management, and User Administration. Go ahead and select your user and use the Group ID field to assign that user to the inactive user list. Click OK to save. Repeat this step for any other users that need to be moved to the inactive group. These user IDs will now be disabled and will be prevented from logging into Jonas. If needed, you can temporarily disable a user ID from logging in by navigating to User Options and flagging the same Deactivate This User field directly from the user level. Then you can unflag the setting to reactivate the user. If the user you are deactivating is a Timekeeper Supervisor, Marina Supervisor, or POS Supervisor, the flag for which can be found in the POS Access menu, a Supervisor override will still allow for the user ID to log into Jonas. To prevent this from happening, make sure the applicable fields are unflagged for that user. You can also create a group security for deactivated users who will still receive emails. For these users, an email address can be added in user options. These user IDs can still receive silent partner reports via Gmail, club automation, and other notifications by email. The user, however, will not have any access to Jonas. For example, this option can be used for Board of Director users. If a user ID needs to be reactivated, use the toggle button in the lookup list to switch to the inactive users, and go ahead and select your user. From here, you'll want to switch their group ID from the inactive to the appropriate non-inactive group, and click OK. This will remove them from the inactive list. Note that if you select the user and remove their group without replacing it, you will have to go to User Options and unflag Deactivate This User before you can reactivate them. Now let's look at Timekeeper Staff. A Timekeeper Staff can be deactivated using one of the following file paths. Go ahead and select the Staff User. And to deactivate the Staff User, simply switch the status flag from Active to Inactive and click OK to save. The Timekeeper Staff will now be disabled and will be prevented from clocking in. The status of a Timekeeper Staff can be seen in this lookup list. You can reactivate a Timekeeper staff by selecting the user and switching them back to an active status and clicking OK to save. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.